when I went to Leslie's program, and she said, okay, we're going we're gonna to do a lot of core work on these small balls, I, I remember kind of rolling my eyes and thinking to myself, like, great, here comes the, here comes the fluff, here comes the toys, kind of thing like that. And um, I was really surprised the, the first time I went through it. I know I was sore, and, um, you know, it, was, it, was, it definitely reversed my skeptical thinking about the small ball. That better extension that you get with the ball um, allows greater range of motion. And the farther you are able to work a muscle through its range of motion, typically the stronger you can get that muscle. You don't achieve as great of extension without having that ball behind your back. You know, you lay down flat, and if you watch a lot of people do their crunches, they never even go flat. They will touch the bottom of their scapula or their shoulder blade, and they pop back up. So there's always, you know, a one or two inch gap between the top of their shoulder and the floor. They never, you know, some people never go all the way flat. And so when you get that ball in there, you get that little bit of extra, you get a couple extra inches in there. And I know it doesn't sound like it would make that big a difference, but I know when I work out on the smaller ball it does. You know, I might have 20 people in a class doing flat floor crunches, and I can assign a number, a starting number of 20, right? And pretty much everybody completes those, and they say, okay, yeah, I did my floor crunches. And you know, you see some good crunches and some bad crunches, and you're trying to correct for the movement and whatnot. And you put the same group on the ball, and I can only start with 10 or 12 before the, the group's fatigued enough that just by watching what they're doing, I'm like, okay, moving on to the next exercise. And so what that tells me is that the stress is greater and the workout's better. My personal opinion is that I can effectively work people out better on the ball than I can do in a flat crunch. Try it. Try the bender method. Um, get on the small ball and give it an honest shot, and I think people will be surprised.